There are 10 emotions and our human conditions that can influence how you might perceive different verbal and nonverbal behaviors that can impact the effectiveness of your communication. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you a way how to become more self-aware of how you act and react to these 10 common emotions and conditions that can have a lasting impact on three specific areas of your communication skills. By completing this exercise, you'll develop a higher level of self-awareness that will improve your understanding of how your behaviors, actions, and reactions affect and influence all aspects of your communication effectiveness with different people in many different situations. One of the top benefits of what I'm about to show you is that once you identify how your mind and body react and behave when experiencing an unexpected emotion or expected one, you can start to train yourself to overcome and deal with those reactions to make them less impactful on the outcome of your situation. What that means is that you won't freak out or as much in certain circumstances. To get the most out of this information, I want you to imagine that you're looking at yourself as how someone else would see and hear you. In other words, don't just look in a mirror that only sees your face and upper body, but try to step outside of yourself when you make your observations to see the whole of you. The three specific areas that you need to be self-aware of are your use and presentation of language, your facial expressions, and your physical presence, which includes your body language and body reactions that can and cannot be seen or sometimes heard. Right after I go over the 10 emotions and conditions you should be more self-aware of, I'll get you started with statements that, by the way, are common and normal reactions and behaviors that can happen to anyone. Right after that, I'll let you know what you should do next to save time in getting this completed as soon as possible. The 10 emotions and conditions that you'll use to describe what happens to the change in your language and your facial expressions and body language are when you're nervous, afraid, friendly, happy, excited, tired, bored, angry, sad, and distracted. Start like this and ask yourself, how do I behave and react when I'm nervous? What happens to my language use? What happens to my facial expressions? What does my body language show about my current state of being? Then move on to the next emotion or condition and ask the same questions. How do I behave and react when I'm afraid? And so on and so on until you get through the whole list of all 10. Here they are. I have a feeling of uneasiness and I'm not so sure of myself. I get itchy. I get sweaty, my hands, armpits, back, and face sweat. I feel like I need to run to the bathroom for one or two reasons. It feels like there's a band wrapped around my chest, making it hard to breathe. I find it hard to focus on what's going on around me or even understand what people are saying or asking me. I tend to stumble or stutter over words and have trouble finding the right words to say. My voice cracks or sound shaky. <clears throat> Sometimes I burp or mm. I tend to utter too many uh, ums, ahs, or likes. You know, you know. I tend to speak quieter, louder, faster, or slower. I start to uh, swear a lot. My mouth gets so dry and pasty or I have too much saliva in my mouth. My throat tightens up <clears throat> and I <clears throat> need to <clears throat> constantly <clears throat> clear my throat. I sound monotone with no vocal inflection in my speech. I smile more or less. My eyes open wide with little blinking or they narrow and blink more than usual. I grind my teeth and clench my jaw. I blush or get red blotchy patches on my face and neck. My hands shake and tend to move around as if they have a mind of their own. I tend to shift back and forth or rock side to side. I avoid making eye contact or just stare at one or two people. I slouch down with my shoulders rounded over and hunch down to get as small as possible. I bite at my lips and cuticles and play with my fingernails. I constantly brush my hair out of my face or let it hang down so nobody can see my eyes or so I can't see them. That's just some of the reactions and actions you might have. There are many more, but this is a good start to get you thinking. After you complete your self-observation, see if you notice any similarities in your behaviors, actions, and reactions 
that occur with two or more of the emotions or conditions. Then ask yourself, if I saw someone displaying that same behavior, is my perception accurate of what they're feeling and what their emotions are? Checking your own perception of how you think and react to someone else's behavior can bring about a greater self-awareness of your own ability to change, adapt, and become stronger and more confident with your own communication skills. And just in case you weren't taking notes, here's how you can get your downloadable copy of these statements to help you out and make this easier to complete. In the description, look for this link to my Thinkific course site. Register for free to access the free stuff module and you'll find the How Do I Behave PDF file there. To learn more about how to improve on your own actions and reactions, make sure to tap that subscribe button and especially tap that notification bell to be reminded when the next live stream is happening so you can join in and get the tips and ideas that can keep you moving towards a higher level of mastering your communication skills. Go get that list now and get started on it right away. I'll see you online soon.